The viewing corridors give you a front row seat for viewing the entire filling process. The equipment and processes provide the benefits of best-in-class standards and yet are customizable, allowing for manufacturing flexibility. Filling row by row, loading and unloading for lyophilization and capping all take place under barrier isolation with the capability of filling 60 to 150 vials per minute, depending on vial size and fill volume. The completely automated process starts by using an inline style vial washer Ranging from 2 to 20 milliliters, up to 50 milliliters with change parts, the interior and exterior are washed and prepared for depyrogenation. The changeover for the vial washer can be completed in less than 15 minutes. It is all part of our turnkey approach that combines precision and efficiency. Upon leaving the washer, the vials enter the depyrogenation tunnel, which is equipped with a sterilizable cool zone. The depyrogenation tunnel feeds vials onto a turntable, staging them to go from continuous motion to the walking beam, intermittent motion. The vials are then fed into a four-headed filler, which is capable of running up to 150 vials per minute using a time pressure filling mechanism and incorporating 100% non-destructive fill weight checks. A nitrogen overlay can also be provided before, during, or after filling for oxygen sensitive products. With the ability to handle ready-to-use or ready-to-sterilize components, sterilized stoppers are charged through a rapid transfer port, and vials are stoppered for either liquid or lyo formats. For freeze-dried products, the vials enter the 250-square-foot lyophilizer using an automated loading and unloading system that feeds vials row by row. The lyophilizer can hold 120,000 2-milliliter vials or approximately 30,000 20 milliliter vials. During unloading, the bi-directional conveyor reverses direction to take stoppered lyo vials to the capper and tray loader. Sterile caps are charged through a rapid transfer port and are crimped using a rotary style crimping wheel with adjustable head pressure and spin speed. The capping operations are all performed under barrier isolation. During tray loading, Vials are identified with UV excitable barcodes or human readable inkjet screening on the caps. The vials are also counted as they are loaded into the trays.